Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah blessed us, me and my wife, to visit the holy places of Islam, Medina and Mecca, many times and twice on the occasions of Hajj. As all Muslims know, that Hajj is one of the five important pillars of Islam. It is a duty and obligation on all Muslim men and women who can physically and financially afford to perform Hajj once a lifetime. It is very difficult to describe this experience. It is hard to imagine how a person would feel when he or she is actually there. Many people have described their experiences the first time when they see the Kaaba, the actual building. People may have some of their own imagination as to how it would be like but really nothing can describe it till you are actually there. Hajj throughout those few days that uh, Hajjaj are there, every minute of it is an experience itself. It is spiritually very uplifting, it is very emotional, in many ways it is very fulfilling. It really brings a man or a woman very close to his creator. As it has been said that once the Hajj is performed, all the sins of the Hajjaj are washed away and they go back home like an innocent baby who was just born. Then it is up to us what we do in the later part of our life once we have the opportunity for this extraordinary experience. I have often heard from those who have been there who got the opportunity that in many ways it was a life-changing experience for them. They had not realized certain things things which were more important to them, the worldly things, after their pilgrimage, the Hajj, they start thinking about those things very differently. I have heard people who change their businesses, who change their schedules, who change their relationship, who became more practicing Muslims. Many of them became more pious. It is really a, such an experience, it makes us do some soul searching. It makes us take a pause in our busy lives and think, what is life really all about? After all, we are going to be here only for a brief period of time. And we have a life hereafter which is forever and in our busy life we do not think about that as much as we should. As far as the real experience of being there, again it is very hard to describe, find words to do that when you see those millions of people all around you in just men particularly just two pieces of cloth, one for the upper body and one for the lower body. So everyone looks alike. This is a good experience of how it would be when we would be in front of our Creator on the Day of Judgment. Uh, we will be judged not based on many things that we have in this life our big cars, our big homes, 
our big bank balances, our status, our titles, they will all be immaterial when we are in front of Allah. We will be asked what we did. It is our taqwa that will be judged. We will be asked that we were blessed with many things. It may be our knowledge, it may be our specific experience, it may be our other blessings like our wealth. It will, we will be asked, what did we do with those things when we had a chance? And how we treated our fellow human beings who were around us? Were we kind to them? Were we nice to them? Were we selfish or did we sacrifice things so that the others can have a better life? My hope is that all Muslims one day get a chance to have this wonderful experience and they learn from it. It teaches us also self-control appreciating things which are worth appreciating and not paying attention to things which in the long run would not matter. At the end I would conclude by praying for all the Muslims in the entire world that may Allah grant them the things which are worth appreciating and keep them all on the right path, the path that he has liked, the path that he has blessed, and not the path that he disapproves.